it to be me. But I'm here to be different. Oh my god, it was like £30 the other day, it's gone up to 50 Oh, mm. you. Oh, I don't want kisses. Anyone wants to do a GoFundMe page for my Christmas, then feel free. tell me if you're really there, don't make me fall Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, you can see the ring light in the background, which is really annoying. Hugo's gonna bark now. He's gonna go to the door and start whinging, because he can see foxes out that window. So today I'm just going to do a sit down video, um, obviously again Christmas related, so when I put on my story a few weeks ago asking for Christmas ideas for videos, a lot of you said Christmas wish list. And I want to know my Christmas wish list because I've struggled this year big time, like I have really struggled, but I've managed to do a bit of research online and find some things that I probably would like for Christmas. If, you know, if I could, some things are a bit more expensive than others, you know, I've gone for a bit of a wide range because obviously if you're trying to get inspo from me, I don't know what your budget is, I don't know, you know, like, I'm just trying to do a bit of a wide range. So, let's talk about my Christmas wish list. I feel a bit weird sitting down doing this. Like, I feel really like, oh my God, I'm just sitting down on my own, just talking to you, like, it's really weird. Okay, so, got it on my notes in my phone. Oh, by the way, I really hope you're enjoying Vlogmas, my, my version of Vlogmas. I'm having quite a bit of fun doing this. Obviously the pressure is a lot more than what it is normally and I'm quite overwhelmed with the pressure anyway, having to post like every weekend. I just can't keep up. So this is quite a lot of pressure, but I'm getting there. I'm managing. I'm quite impressed with myself, I won't lie. <laughs> um, let me just write something else because I've just thought of something else that I really like. So let's, let's start with my Christmas wish list. What I'll do is I'll put links for things in the bio if you want to check out the links, you know, prices websites for the item you know i'll try and find the cheapest website for the item so obviously some things aren't everywhere because some of them are like exclusive to their own website but we'll i'll just put the link below and also what i'll do is i'll put a picture up here somewhere each time i talk about something i've gone for a bit of a variety of stuff some of these things i genuinely need rather than want if that makes sense like the things i will use all the time i'll get on that in a minute anyway so, first of all, my Christmas wish list. I have an SLA green tracksuit. So, some of you might have seen, if you follow Sarah Ashcroft, she has her own brand. Um, I've followed it for ages. I've followed Sarah. She was like one of my main inspirations of getting into blogging um, all those years ago. And I'm not a green lover at all. Green is not my colour. Green is not something I would choose. I'm a pink girl. Green is just not something that I would ever go for. This tracksuit was literally breathtaking. I literally saw her on Sarah's Instagram and she was like, coming soon or whatever she put in. I was like, oh my God, I need that tracksuit. They had it in pink as well. I think they had it in the blue and the blue was lovely too. But I needed it in the green. I don't know why, but I needed it in the green. So I would really like this green tracksuit, which I'll put a photo here of Sarah wearing it. I think it's stunning. I think this colour is so bright. I just love it. But I'm just not a green girl. So when I sort of said to my mum, oh, I really like this green tracksuit, she was a bit like, green is not what I thought you'd go for. But... I'm here to be different, do you know what I mean? I'm bored of the same old, same old. So let's just go all out. So yeah, I really like this tracksuit. Let's see how much it costs. Just realized it's called SLL with the label. Didn't realize that. Oh, I've got low battery, that's not good. Okay, so the joggers are 32 pounds. They're kind of basic, just green. Just say SLL the label on the side. And I thought it was called SLL. And the green embroidered sweatshirt is £38, but it just looks so nice together. We're going to go with it. So I really, that's probably one of the first things on my Christmas wish list. Just love it. Second up, I need to Google this one too, because I'm absolutely useless. Oh my God, it was like £30 the other day, it's gone up to 50 Next up is the Fierce Leopard Print Long Sleeve Mini Dress in Beige from Opoly. I saw Danny Manzuti actually wear it on Instagram the other day, um, and I thought, oh, I quite like that dress. And I just sort of put it to one side for a moment. And yeah, I really like the dress. I think it's really stunning. That could be like a New Year's Eve type of dress. Oh my God, I love them tops too. Jeez. It's like 50 quid for a top though. It's kind of steep. Oh, Polly have like the most amazing dresses and stuff. I started going to the gym in the first lockdown. I was in there like pretty much every day, minus the weekend, so I was in there five days a week. And I was really enjoying it. And I felt so much better in myself. Lockdown 2 came around and I was like, I need to get back in there. Because when we come out of the first lockdown, I was like, oh, I'll do it another day. You know, I just kept putting it off all the time. When lockdown 2 came around, I was like, I'm going to get back into that gym every single day. Watch me. It didn't happen. Look, we're now out of lockdown 2. And I've not done it. I've just not done it. And I'm absolutely fuming at myself because now is like the best time because I've just got 
time at home. Oh, he comes to join me. Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. Oh, love you. Oh, we don't want kisses. So yeah, I wanted to go to the gym in lockdown number two. Didn't happen. But I feel like if I got a new gym set from Bow and T from Opoly, I feel like I would go. I feel like I'm just saying, I just want to wear a nice, pretty set. I really like the Bow and T two piece. So it's pink. It's um, a seamless short sleeve cropped up in pink and seamless high waisted shorts. I just think it's so pretty. Top is £28 and the shorts are £25. I also really love this tracksuit. So it's a Nike tracksuit. It's all white with pink text. Um, it's from Marmalade People Online, which is a Instagram account and they've got a website to go with it. I think it's stunning. Like, I just know I'll get it too dirty now. It's quite expensive for something that isn't from like actual Nike. So I'm a bit like, do I put it on my list, do I not? But it's really lovely. Um, obviously, I don't know what the material's like. I've literally got no idea, but I would love it. It's so stunning. Okay, next, I really want the Morphe Palette 35 XO. The colours in it are lovely. I absolutely love eyeshadow palettes. I'm always looking for eyeshadow palettes and only buy them if I'm definitely going to use them and use all the colours because sometimes I find that you buy palettes and they have all the relevant colours that you would never wear. It's got quite a lot of like nudie colours, like a lot of pinks, and I wear quite a lot of pinks on my eyes. I like nude and pink, but they're like my go-to colours on my eyes. It's really pretty, like the colours are really lovely. There's some like quite dark purpley ones, which I probably would avoid, but other than that, I think I would use quite a lot of the palette. And on Pretty Little Thing, that is currently £24, which is quite cheap. Cult Beauty is £25 as well, so Pretty Little Thing is the cheapest at the moment. Boots are £25. So it's not available online on quite a few places. But it's just really pretty colours. So let me know what you think. Let me know if this is a bit of you. It's definitely a bit of me. Literally, these are my pink leggings. I've got these in New York. They were like $75. They were quite expensive. Um, but they've got like pockets. And I literally live in them. Like I absolutely love them so much. And I remember when I was buying them, George was like, are you joking? Like that's quite a lot of money for a pair of leggings. And I was like, I just want them. I just wanted to go home with something from New York. Like, do you know what I mean? But I just wanted a pair of leggings from pink. Where are you going? Are you ditching me? Oh, bye then. I love you. He's looking at me. He's just so handsome. I love him. I literally just want these plain leggings that have Victoria's Secret literally like at the back. They were in the sale on Black Friday for £35. Oh, they're still £35 and they're normally £60. So I think that's a really good deal. But I just love the material of the of pink and Victoria's Secret leggings. So that's more of a need than a want. And I definitely know that I'd get a lot of use out of them. So that's definitely on my list. I'm a sucker for trainers and every year near Christmas I see all these trainers come up and people buying trainers and stuff for Christmas and I'm like I just want and I was looking the other day on flannels because they had a really good sale on flannels on Black Friday and I was just having a browse found a couple of pairs of trainers I really liked and I found some I would really really like so last Christmas I got the Balenciaga socks and I have literally no word of a lie worn them literally every single day of my life like they've got so much use out of them they are the most comfortable trainers ever i really wasn't keen on them when they first came out i was like mm, not sure not sure then i saw the ones that i've got so the ones that i've got are like a little bit of light pink at the back and i was like mm, i really like them actually my dad found them so i won't take credit for that so i got them for christmas last year and i've literally lived in them and i really like balenciaga trainers anyway i quite like the chunky ones too and I've never really had chunky trainers before, so it's something a bit different, a bit out of my comfort zone, but I just love them. I think they go with absolutely everything. So I've come to the conclusion, it was down to like three pairs of Balenciagas. I was like, hmm, what ones would I like most? And I would absolutely, probably not gonna happen, but absolutely love the Balenciaga Triple S trainers. It's a pastel color, so the bottom's pastel and it's like a gray color on top. Literally, do you know what I'd do for these shoes? I'm not even gonna tell you because it'll make me emotional. Like I would absolutely love these shoes but they're the ones i'd really like there are some other ones these are quite expensive but it depends on what your price range is so these are 650 pounds but on black friday they had a massive discount like massive discount and then you got like 100 pound back so unfortunately this is after black friday i really like the pink ones which are the light pink which are the triple star i really love those but i just don't think they're going to go with everything so i don't think they'd be top of my list i mean i see a lot that i like and there's another pair but they're the same kind of trainer but the clear cell and they're pink with white so this is my second option but the pastel color i just think they'll go with everything and i don't know i don't know they're a bit gray and i love gray the the pastel pair have gone on my christmas list please santa <laughs> obviously i don't expect them but 
you know, if anyone wants to do a GoFundMe page for my Christmas, then feel free. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, they're really stunning. I really like them. There's also a Palm Angels top. I'm not going to get it because they have absolutely no sizes in stock at the moment. And I'm obsessed. So it's got a bit of a high neck on it, as you've seen the photo. It's got Angels Miami. It's got like the pink and it's a white jumper. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I'm absolutely obsessed. But they literally have no smalls or extra smalls. So it's a no from me. That's normally £315 and it's currently £253, which I think is extortionate for a top. Like, I'm a bit funny with tops. Shoes you can wear all the time. They go with everything. But tops, you're not going to wear every single day, are you? Like, I don't know. I don't think I'd pay that much for a top, if I'm honest with you. But I do love the top, so if anyone wants to raise some money to buy me a Palm Angels top, feel free. I'm a sucker for personalised gifts. My sister got me a photo book for my birthday. It was so sweet. Georgia did. I would much rather a personalised photo book than a Palm Angels t-shirt. Like, there's no, like, no doubt about it. I would absolutely love something personalised. I love getting people personalised gifts. I love personalised gifts. Like, it's just me. Everyone knows that. So, where was I going with this? It's been a long day. For Dan's birthday, I got him this photo frame. It's probably like A4 size. And it had a picture of me and him in it. And it wasn't a picture, it wasn't like a picture you put inside it. It just came printed on, on it and it had like text underneath. It's from Getting Personalised, which is online. I buy quite a lot from Getting Personalised because I buy like photos. I bought down a Vaseline from there before. It was like 20 quid. No, it wasn't that expensive. It was about eight pounds. And I'm like, in the shop you can get for like 90p. Like, but okay, whatever. It had his name on it and it literally was just a sticker. But, you know, that's what we do. So I get quite a lot from Getting Personalised. But I would love a frame. But I know what picture I want in the frame, which is really annoying because I haven't got the picture. Long story short, I want a picture of me and Dan at the Emirates. Don't have that picture yet because we haven't been to a game together yet. So even if it's another photo, I'll be happy. But I really like a photo of us too on my wall in my bedroom. And I really like these frames, so, you know. And that frame is also £17.99, but you can probably find a discount online somewhere but they're just really pretty frames and they come like all printed and i just love the text on it i would really like a white frame for it because it goes better in my room than a dark frame but if you're gonna get a frame all of them soon because it's saying that there's quite a lot of delays because of one coronavirus and two christmas so i love a perfume i absolutely love them so ariana grande brought a perfume out a couple of months ago called rem which is one of her song titles i think george has already got it but i really love her perfumes i think they're quite reasonably priced and they actually last for quite a long time. So I really like the Ariana Grande perfume, Rem. Um, I'd quite like that. It smells really nice because it smells in Georgia. Yeah, I, I kind of want it. I want it and get it. Next up is Go Get Personalised. You may have seen them on Georgia's Instagram. She worked with them recently and she had a top like this that said GH. Now this is actually from Go Get Personalised. I bought this myself. Didn't get gifted like Georgia, you know. She got offered to work with him. I didn't. But I just quite like this. I saw it on Instagram and just thought it was quite cute. So I bought myself a jumper. Um, I think Amelie's also due to work with them soon. So I watch this space. I'm the only sister that's not working with them. How upsetting is that? I would really like a jumper. I'm not sure what colour. Maybe a pink again. With Robin here. Or Robin here. But not patches. I quite like the writing. They've got quite funky writing. So I'd really like... I'll show you what I want. I'll put it here. But with a pink jumper, maybe even the hot pink jumper with white writing. I think that'd be really cute. I'm all about personal stuff, so there you go. Great idea. A jumper. But apparently they've got their last orders real soon. The jumpers from Go Get Personalised vary. This one's £25. But the more packages you have and the different sort of texts and stuff, I think it varies. So I think it's probably about £25 plus. Not 100% sure on that. You'll have to go and check the website. Oh my god. Amelie has the most beautiful mirror in her room. It was actually George's mirror, but... Georgia moved to uni and Emily got the room and the mirror was just too big to take with Georgia. It's got the big bulbs and it's from Hollywood Mirrors. I would love it. I'm not gonna lie. I would absolutely love a holiday. A holiday? I'd love a holiday too, but I love a, hol a holiday. Why do I keep going on holiday? I'd love that too. So if anyone wants to buy me a holiday to buy, feel free. I would absolutely love a Hollywood mirror. I really like the... Harriet is on FaceTime. So I really want the Diaz Hollywood Mirror, 80 by 60. That is currently on offer. It's £310. But that is ideally what I would love. And I think it looks stunning on a desk as well. 
yeah, I would love one of those. Oh, last but not least, absolutely anything to do with Arsenal. Anything. I will take a pen, I will take a pad, just anything. But anything Arsenal, I'll be absolutely buzzing with. And I'm kind of glad because I always, every single birthday and Christmas, put on my list something Arsenal, anything. She could pick whatever she wanted, even if it was a teddy. But she would never get me anything Arsenal. Even with my dad. Oh, my dad got me something Arsenal once, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But since Dan's come along, he's bought me Arsenal everything. So, yeah, I've been quite sport with Arsenal stuff. Oh my god, we've come to the end of my Christmas wish list. Like, I genuinely thought I had nothing, and I've just done a bit of Googling over the last two weeks while I was trying to gather things for this video. And yeah, I've come up with some expensive, some cheap, some in between. But yeah, I hope that I've somehow inspired you, maybe. I don't know. I hope this has helped in some way. This is my wish list. I'm manifesting, I've said it out loud, I've said it to you guys. So after Christmas, I will do a haul. I will show you what I got for Christmas and we'll see what we manifested and what worked with manifesting. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Obviously, I'm not gonna get all of that because it's very expensive. So yeah, I'm not I'm not asking for that. That's just me giving ideas of what I would like. So also I really wanted to help small businesses this year and you know buy from small businesses rather than like Amazon and people like that for my presence and I've been following a lot of small businesses on Instagram. I've been working with a lot of like some smaller businesses, trying to help them like, you know, inspire people for Christmas time and things like that. So I just want to support small businesses. So if you have any small businesses or you know anyone that has a small business, maybe put them in the comments below so we can try and like help them out for Christmas time and get them noticed by other people. And obviously the further this video goes, the more people will see there. Um, business. I know if it was me and if I just started my business, any support would be massive. Obviously, I'm not a massive influencer. I'm not, you know, whatever. But that is my business. That is me making an earning. So any support, likes, comments, you know, saves on Instagram, shares on Instagram, messages, anything goes a long way with me. So I always want to give back and give people the same sort of vibes, you know. I'm quite big on all that, you know. It's just nice to help others and want to help others and support others i think come on good boy we just got interrupted didn't we didn't we tell the camera so we just i actually love this dog so much my god he's just ditching me he's like i don't want any more kisses now he's spinning around to show off you might have seen on instagram and social media in the last couple of days that there is this thing going around i think it's called hartley paul giving or something like that I've seen quite a lot of influencers share it and I know that every year at Lakeside, which is my local shopping centre, they have a place where you can go in, you can pick a child's name off a tree, it tells you their name, age and everything, you can go and buy them a gift to give them. These presents go to like the less fortunate children, the children that parents can't afford it or like the young carers, which is such a lovely idea. Young carers are something quite close to our family because my dad volunteers at a young carers centre. Obviously, we've, we've given sort of things that we can like that's something quite close to my family and obviously like children that are less fortunate is something that really upsets me personally so i got in contact with lakeside recently obviously i was presuming that this tree situation wasn't open because of covid and i've got in contact with them recently and they've replied to me and said unfortunately we don't have one in the center this year due to covid however if you go to this website you can find all information about how to donate I hope this helps so it's actually a Thurrock Council website and it tells you all about how you can help and how you can buy from our give a give list. So it takes you to like an Amazon wish list. You can donate money. Then you can print your star, which says give a gift. Thank you star. This is something that I'm actually going to do because I want to give a child who hasn't got the luxuries that we have every day something back. And I want them to have a special Christmas too. It makes me quite sad thinking about it. It's quite an emotional topic, I think. I just feel sorry for children that aren't as fortunate as us. It really upsets me. I just wish there was something I could do more for these young children that don't get a lot and, you know, look after their parents. So I'm going to leave a link below. If you're like, obviously, if you're Lakeside, Thurrock based or Essex based, then it's probably one of the closest shopping centres to you. But I'm sure if you've got in contact with your local shopping centre, they might do something similar, especially if it's into maybe into will do the same thing i'm not too sure i'll put the link below and if you want to help someone else then please feel free to use the link because i want to raise as much awareness for this as i possibly can i want to just make sure that everyone's aware and people remember that this is still about and we can still give even though we can't physically give if that makes sense so that's why the amazon wish list is quite a good idea because we don't have to physically give do you know what i mean i think you just have to you have to order and you have to send it to Kelly Robinson, who is the Give a Gift Elf. 
which is so lovely and it will bring happiness to a thorough child which means a lot so yeah i'm definitely gonna do that i'm gonna do that this weekend and yeah if you want to get involved then please please feel free to use the link below i just want to raise awareness for it and make sure people know about it so if you do get involved please 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 let me know because i have to know that i'm helping raise awareness for this sort of stuff let's try and give others a really happy christmas because you know this year's been tough as it is anyway but you can only imagine how tough it is for other people that have less family are less fortunate than us so let's just help everyone and just be kind to everyone if we can afford it then why couldn't we help you know but no, I just want to help people. That's how me and my family have been brought up. We've always been the sort of people that help others and stick up for others and, you know, try and make other people happy and put people before ourselves. And that's just, unfortunately, sometimes it goes against us. But that is the way we are. And that's how we've been brought up. So let's just help people and give back. Christmas is all about giving. So let's just give back. Let's just support people. And let's just be kind to each other and give as much as we possibly can. I keep looking over there. I don't know why. It's nice to be kind generous and loving i think i'm going to stop here because i feel like i've given you enough information and i've probably given you information overload but i hope you've enjoyed this video it's kind of a bit of a different one but this was really highly requested so i'm just giving you what you guys want and i'll see you in my next video make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you leave your comments below with small businesses big businesses whatever you want to leave let's try and be kind support each other and build each other up i just want to see other people succeed and have a happy Christmas. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. And I hope to see you back very, very soon.